Hello everyone, my name is Josette Bushell Mingo and I am the Artistic Director for Lixtiopens Tust Teater, Sweden. My apologies that I couldn't be here with you uh, live, uh, but I hope that this short presentation will add to what I believe is going to be a very exciting day. Um, a little about Tust Teater. Tust Teater uh, came to Lixtiopen in 1977. Tus Theater is one of the world's oldest professional sign language theatres. Um, it is the only sign language theatre in a national uh, institution. Um, Tus Theater produces work from classics to children's theatre, from uh, new writing to workshops and seminars. And we work as part of Rix Theater, both internationally, nationally and locally. We reach anything between 4,000 to 8,000 sign language users and a vast and large uh, uh, non-sign language audience. Um, Tustiata is made up of myself, artistic director, and also 90% uh, sign language um, professionals. That's producers, designers, actors, communication, um, and many of the performing arts. Um, the production we're presenting today is called Perfection. Perfection is a dance theatre piece in collaboration and partnership with Skorna Dance. It was a piece that explored the theory of what does it mean to be perfect. Seen through the performance uh, and bodies of three dancers, Hayan, Maria and Johanna, each with their own uniqueness, each with their own perfection. Um, the piece explored through dance and gesture, how those feelings can manifest. Um, the piece was choreographed by Melody Putti from Skorna Dance um, and was uh, unique for us at Tusti uh, because of the way we use technologies. By that, uh, exploring the idea that technology enhances performance, enhances communication, inspires creativity and storytelling. Perfection uh, was built specifically uh, in a film studio created at Eriksdjöften in Halunda, Stockholm. Uh, it was produced with six cameras, one overhead, three static and one what I call the floater, which could rise uh, and move uh, around the dancers. Um, it was live edited, live streamed in front of a live audience um, and it gave an intense experience of not only participating in looking at what might be perfect, being that external um, global eye, that critical eye about these three women, but also really both for our sign language audiences, for our non-sign language audiences, for our um, sensory audiences, which is also our deaf-blind audiences, for example, it gave a unique uh, opportunity to really explore through technology um, how we communicate, how the story could be enhanced. The studio had two live screens in the room, so audiences could see exactly what was being edited as we sent it out. The production was live sent to both um, iPads, iPhones, schools, uh, and to various uh, arts organisations, um, individuals. Um, we had uh, both complicated feedback, um, challenges were fiber optics and therefore the quality of interface, the quality of connection. Challenges were how um, those who had booked the performance would log in. Uh, and we had two of our brilliant technicians um, on standby for every performance, connecting with the associations, helping them to log in. Um, and because the performance was not live streamed free, it was for those who had booked the show, uh, we were on standby for that, but that caused some challenges. Uh, sometimes it was the resources, sometimes it was the connection, um, and in several instances, connections were lost completely. Uh, the major advantages, I think, was the deep experience of those in the room. I, I believe that that experience was maybe the most central. Um, we proved beyond a doubt that we can live stream, but it's something that we will reflect upon and how that, that happens in the future. Um, the second thing was, of course, the interaction between the technicians in Halunda, Stockholm, and our um, associations out in the country. This kind of dialogue about technology, about connection, was really very exciting to see. 
The live edit was also something quite extraordinary. I mean, some would sit there today, I know, and go, yeah, what's so interesting about that? But to be in the room, uh, particularly when you have a, a visual audience, when you have a sensory audience, uh, for interpreters translating for our deaf-blind audiences, it was really quite, quite invigorating, inspiring um, to be part of something happening there and then. I think for the actresses themselves, it pushed them uh, to produce performances that they wouldn't have because they knew it was not just something pre-recorded, they knew it wouldn't be over after the show, that it was live there and then, um, which is very odd because most of the performing arts are live, but this was something else. Um, also, at the end of each performance, we had a discussion about the themes uh, in the show. Perfection remains for us uh, a benchmark performance, not only for our partnership with Skorna Dance, which we hope to pursue, but also pushed the border in terms of creation, that technologies can be part of that from the very, very beginning, the interaction between our brilliant uh, sign language director, um, our brilliant uh, team on the ground, the way the dancers interacted. But again, I go back to the audience experience. Um, that's the end of my presentation. I'm looking at the time. Uh, my good colleague anne Katrin Freuder is on the ground, also working at Riksteatern, who can take any questions um, that uh, may arise. Um, but also feel free that this is just part of what I understand to be some very brilliant uh, projects and uh, innovators in this particular um, panel. Uh, I wish you a successful day. I hope interpreters that are translating me, uh, I haven't been going too fast. Um, and from all of us here at Riksteatern's Tust uh, Sweden, we wish you a great and successful day. Thank you.